And the UM System Board of Curators voted to keep masking in place on campus. ABC 17's Chanel Porter continues our return to learn coverage tonight from Mizzou's campus. And Chanel, the board made some exceptions for people who have the coronavirus vaccine. Deb and Lucas, the board voted in favor five to four to keep masks, but with the exception that vaccinated individuals can unmask at indoor athletic and social events. Curators rejected a different idea that would, would have extended that rule to everyone on campus. Board member Todd Graves proposed the first resolution to the board at tonight's meeting, saying the masking policy should stay in place with exceptions. Masking will not be required for vaccinated individuals or in outdoor settings, athletic events, or social events where attendance is voluntary. The board voted against this 6-3 to three with concerns of how to determine vaccination status across campus, and the lack of trust in the honor system. One student I spoke with today said she is hoping for relaxed restrictions for vaccinated individuals. I understand why we should wear masks, but at the same time, I did get the vaccination, so I feel like I should be able to not wear it. System President Moon Choi then presented his case for keeping masking in place through October 15th. The counties that house our four universities to be in what is the high transmission. Choi also compared other SEC schools. Just three have no mask rules. Florida has 731 active campus cases. Georgia had 505 in the last week and Texas A&M had over 1600 active cases. Curator Michael Williams said he wants to see the mask rule apply to all indoor activities. If we're going to say when you're indoors in the classroom or indoors you need to wear a mask, then I don't just because I'm going to an indoor event, which is a basketball game or a concert, I don't know that we still don't have the same issue. MU is reporting 40 active student cases, which is just 0.1% of the entire student population. Curators say this is a sign that what they're doing is working and should continue. Reporting live in Columbia, Chanel Porter. ABC 17 News. Chanel, thank you. Williams did say he is drafting a new resolution for masking at indoor activities for the board to vote on in the future. Now, the board will reconsider the mask rule on October 15th.